نوانا أربعين الاحتكاف الخلوة العزة ويراض السلوك السيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد نوانا الذكر نوانا المولد نوانا الصلاة على النبي إن شاء الله this is uh, this majlis is made uh, with the intention of uh, making salawat on Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and to use this hour uh, before Maghrib on uh, Jum'ah it's a special hour inshallah so uh, we will use it inshallah to uh, make dua make salawat on Prophet inshallah you hear me? As a Shahida, you, you wanted to say something? I needed to get the salawat so that we, I can join, inshallah. Well, we, we uh, on the message I messaged, I said we're going to, yes. inshallah, recite the Dala'il. So if you have the Dala'il Khairat, yes. the Friday yes. chapter. Inshallah. I, will be Inshallah. I will be reciting that and if there's time we will recite Salat uh, uh, Tunjina Inshallah. and then yes. maybe the the the, 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 the dua of Sheikh Abdullah Faiz Daghestani if there's time or any form of dua um, Inshallah. So it's not put on the light. So plenty of khair Inshallah but I thought that I'll khair because every, most people have a copy or they it's part of our daily awrat, so most people have already some sort of uh, um, and it is uh, mashallah dara al khairat is mubarak is a blessed uh, blessed book of salawat the author collected salawat from uh, mentioned by prophet sallallahu mentioned by um, companions mentioned by awliya in uh, one book uh, and uh, so so almost every salawat almost every known salawat is in the book of the al khairat so if a person reads it once a week every day a chapter then he would have basically uh, read the, the majority of the great uh, form of salawat on prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah it is 6:30 uh, so inshallah without further ado we will start Maghrib, uh, Maghrib here is 643, uh, 7.43, but I don't know, it might vary uh, for some people, it might be a different time. It's a little about closer to 7.20 in Montreal, I believe, around 7.20. Yeah, 7.20, so people are free, uh, are free to either uh, interrupt the last 20 minutes and uh, if they want to pray right on time or if they want to... Uh, wait 10 15 minutes until we're done they are welcome everybody it's a it's a free format who likes to come is welcome who doesn't is welcome as well and if people who want to come in or, or they have to leave that's fine as well so i will uh, start with a short short uh, introduction about the why we why we make sal why we choose to do make salawat on prophet sallallahu alaihi especially in this holy month and I came across uh, in my library a great book. Uh, this book, I don't know if you can see it. Afdal salawat ala Sayyid al-Sadat. The best of salawat upon the Sayyid, the master of all masters. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. It is a book uh, also of collection of hadith, uh, of collection of salawat by uh, Sayyidina Yusuf bin Ismail al-Nabahani. Um, he was uh, a big wali and a alim. Uh, used to live in uh, Beirut, Lebanon, and he uh, he collected the, this book. Inshallah, maybe we can uh, next week uh, we can uh, maybe gather a bit earlier. Um, and uh, basically. Uh, we can discuss uh, some of the things about the why why is it important to make salawat what are the benefits of salawat before we actually uh, start with the salawat and um, so alhamdulillah inshallah if uh, I'll start with here 
He starts the book with uh, four verses from Sayyidina Muhammad al-Bakri. مَا أَرْسَلَ الرَّحْمَنُ أَوْ يُرْسِلُ مِنْ رَحْمَةٍ تَصْعَدُ أَوْ تَنْزِلُ فِي مَلَكُوتِ اللَّهِ أَوْ مُلْكِهِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَا يَخْتَصُ أَوْ يَشْمَلُ إِلَّا وَطَاهَ الْمُصْطَفَى عَبْدُهُ نَبِيُّهُ مُخْتَارُهُ الْمُرْسَلُ وَاسِطَةٌ فِيهَا وَأَصْلٌ وَأَصْلٌ لَهَا يَعْلَمُ هَذَا كُلُّ مَنْ يَعْقِلُ So it's a beautiful uh, verse from another big wali, Sayyidina Shaykh Muhammad al-Bakri, radiyallahu anhu arda, and he says that Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not send, have never sent before or will send after, any type of mercy, whether coming down or, or, or going up. In his malakut, in, his, in, in this world, in this mulk, Shaykh Alim, if you can, uh, uh, when you just want to, if you click on the participants, then you will have them all on the right, and then maybe you can, uh, you can, uh, inshallah, mute the ones that are coming in you. Inshallah. So he's saying, Ma arsal ar rahmana aw yursilu. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not send any type of mercy before or after, have never sent any mercy before, will never send any mercy after in his in this world, uh, mulk, uh, in malakut, in the angelic realm, or in his in his mulk, in this world. Whether it's special rahmah or general rahmah. Illa wa taha al mustafa abduhu. Except Taha al Mustafa, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abduhu, Nabiyuhu, Mukhtaruhu al Mursalu. These are all titles of Sayyidina Muhammad, Abd, Nabi, Mukhtar, and Rasul. Except that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the means, Wasita, and from which, from where it originates, Wa Aslun laha. So any type of mercy we are witnessing in this dunya, in this world, whether small or large, whether special uh, or general, specified or general, none of it can reach this existence or reach us or without the wasita, without Sayyidina Muhammad being the medium for it and from which it originates. يَعْلَمُ هَذَا كُلُّ مَنْ يَعْقِلُ Anyone who has understanding, who has mind, understands this reality. That your Prophet وسلم, is the medium through which all mercies come into this world and from which all mercies originate. Because he is Rahmatan lil Alameen, Shafi'ul Mudhnibeen. He is Ar Rahma al Muhdat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about him, Wa ma arsalnaka illa Rahmatan lil Alameen. Sayyidina Muhammad. وسلم. So, People may ask why why you want to sit and make salawat. This is a tremendous khair, tremendous uh, uh, benefit. Maybe one day, inshallah, we'll do we'll also sit and mention all the benefits of salawat on Prophet sallallahu But now it is is not the time. But it is enough. The hadith of Sayyidina Kaab. It's hadith, Sahih hadith. Uh, Ubay ibn Ka'b radiyallahu anhu arda he said to Prophet kam aj'al laka min salati oh, so he asked Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he heard Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that whoever makes salawat on me once Allah will make ten so he said my Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how much of my salat do I make for you and he mean by salat my dua because also dua is one meaning of dua linguistically is salat so he said how much of my salat my dua every day. I have a word of dua, for example. We, you know, people in Tariqah know the, the, the awrad. So daily I'm making one hour salawat, two hour salawat. How much of that should I make for you? Should I make a quarter? He said, Ida shi'at. Ma shi'at, he said. But if you increase, what well, if you like, he said, but if you increase, it's better. And he said, half, he said, also, if you like, but if you increase, it's better. He said, three quarters I make of my prayer, salah on you. Saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. He said, if you like, and if you increase, better. So Sayyidina Ubaim Ka'b, he, he understood. 
He say, أَجْعَلْ لَكَ صَلَاتِ كُلَّهَا I will, instead of making dua, instead of asking Allah for this or for that, I will say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik ala Sayyidina any form. So I will make my whole dua, salawat on you. And Sayyidina, this is a very important point, what Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him. He said, إِذَنْ تُكْفَ هَمُّ وَيُغْفَرُ ذَنْبُكَ تُكْفَ هَمَّكْ وَيُغْفَرْ ذَنْبَكْ means Prophet Sallallahu said if you instead of making dua for yourself, for your family, for your uh, business for instead of that if you make salah on me salawat on me I will grant you all your worries to disappear تُكْفَ هَمَّكْ you will not have worries in this dunya we won't have worry for anything for for uh, for our families for our risk for our uh, health worry will go and at the same time he said your uh, sins will be forgiven so what it means to have a forgiven sins in it means if you if you if you reach akhirah with no sins where where allah is going to send you so, so Prophet Sallallahu is guaranteeing two things for those who make salawat on him too much or instead of their dua is that they will have no worry in this dunya and in akhirah they will be from the happy ones, forgiven ones. So it's a very important point to uh, understand why and uh, another point there's an hour on Friday from hadith, hadith of Prophet Sallallahu where dua is accepted in it and ulama have deferred about the, the time of that uh, some said uh, the last third of uh, uh, the night in Jum'ah some said it is right after Jum'ah prayers and some said it is between Asr and Maghrib or the last hour before <coughs> before Maghrib so alhamdulillah we are, we are following the third opinion in this matter and hoping that this is the hour of acceptance of dua inshallah ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الفاتحة